any safety that we are seeing in the general public these days about the willingness to throw away their rights? Whether it be the right to bear arms, the right of free speech, the right to assembly, or the freedom to due process, it makes one wonder what the hell is going on. How did people get like this? How are people seemingly arguing against their self-interest and feeling no compunction about it? I'm going to take you on a tour of what is really happening behind the curtains in the world, all of which are being portrayed as necessary actions for the greater good of humanity. In 2013, former President Barack Obama was announcing his administration's brain, brain research through advancing innovative neurotechnologies. The study, describing a way to manipulate a lab animal's brain circuitry accurately enough to turn behaviors both on and off. The point of the remote control mouse is not to create an army of robo-rodents, but to perfect a technique that will control the behavior by activating and deactivating neurons. The technique used to control neurons is called DREADS, designer receptors exclusively activated by designer drugs. Because the receptor does not respond to other molecules, including natural ones in the brain, the only way to activate the neurons is via the human-made ones. DREADS allow scientists to manipulate neurons without implanting anything in the brain. Look at this. Current optogenetic experiments rely on extracting opsins, light-sensitive proteins, from plants which can be introduced to mammals by methods including injection and infection via adenovirus. What they do is they genetically engineer a receptor that can get into a person through a viral vector, and what that means is through an injection of the vaccine or through the contraction of an adenovirus which has been modified. You might think, Oh well, I just won't get injected, and I won't go anywhere where I can get this adenovirus. Adenovirus. There's 52 of them. And they range from the common cold, fever, sore throat, pink eye, they're prevalent. So that's creepy, because if you look at what it says, dreads allow scientists to manipulate neurons without implanting anything in the brain. It indeed makes one wonder, given what we see today in the general public, you do need to take the designer drug, though, to make this effective. Once delivered into an organism, opsins can be expressed in eye, brain, or skin cells, allowing their light sensitivity to be remotely activated or silenced with timed pulses of light in different color wavelengths across the light spectrum that can target multiple bodily systems and cause a variety of biological effects. If targeted precisely enough with the appropriate light, it's thought that optogenetics could be used by manipulating neural circuits involved with pain, fear, reward, wakefulness, and social behaviors. There's this enormous mystery uh, waiting to be... Well, this got a little too uh, conspiratorial weird for me. Not that, I, I'm, that it isn't possible, but... <clears throat> You can see the whole thing if you want to. Could be well worth it. Global Agenda. Uh, video Advice. It was just uh, released uh, September 22nd, I believe the date is. And uh, But I don't think it's really all this complicated. My belief is that government has done so much for people to to make them believe that government will take care of everything. We've had generations of public school, and that's where parents surrender their authority for a good part of the waking hours to complete strangers. And I'm not saying teachers are bad people, but I believe the institution is very un unhealthy. And it's an indoctrination. It's where we learn to obey, to follow certain rules, narrow, strict, rigid, regimented. And, uh, and you just, as you're growing up, you get accustomed to having these strangers, these people. And again, 
I, I, I'm not saying they're bad people. They, they themselves, we've all been raised in this system for so many generations, we don't even question it. And beyond that, I believe I, was, I wasn't a happy kid in school, and I think a lot of kids are that way, because children are very active physically. They need to be outside. I mean, it was just awful to, you know, we had a recess or a, a, a PE, that one hour was the best part of the day, but the rest of the time you just had to sit still. Now, okay, well, I'm not going to go on and on. You can read a whole lot more about that. It's, that's not just my idea. John Taylor Gatto, Jonathan Holt, uh, any unschooling uh, search will bring up a lot of uh, uh, resources for you to explore. Uh, H.L. Mencken, others, many many, many years ago, over a century ago, this has been uh, discussed. Okay, thank you.